Fire Science, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who is missing you like crazy and why. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays for those of you celebrating. And today is the 25th of December, 2022. Time is 8.17 p.m. here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for fire signs and if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you are dealing with the same fire sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. Who is missing them like crazy and why? The Empress at the bottom of the deck. The Empress can you get a mother. For some of your mother or grandmother could be missing you like crazy. That's just for some of you. But I do see with the moon and the seven of cups here, this is somebody who has been dreaming about you, okay? Um, they may have had dreams about you. Um, and this person, I feel, with the Empress here and the Queen of Swords, well, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. It could be a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus. I feel like this is someone either around your age or could be older than you are. Definitely sensing a little bit more of a mature energy. Um, most likely it's a feminine energy. It doesn't matter. We all have both feminine and masculine energy. Um, but this person is a little bit more feminine, okay? So the Tower in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and we've got the Three of Wands here. This for me could be an indication of how maybe this person is far away from you or could be longing for you. Um, but Wheel of Fortune in reverse indicates this person is very stuck ever since the Tower in reverse. Maybe both of you had a Tower moment, as in maybe things could have ended very abruptly or very ugly in a very ugly fashion or very dramatic. It could be any of these things. And I see this person, you know, may have been wondering with the Seven of Cups and the Moon here, wondering if that was uncalled for or what could they have done, what they could have done differently. That's what I'm seeing here. Nine of Cups and my breast can, can indicate maybe this person is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. I think this person has deep emotions for you. But they're kind of confused at the same time with the Seven of Cups. Um, unsure. Unsure about how to feel, what to feel at this moment. I feel like they're trying to figure figure something out, okay? They could also have been trying to figure something out about you, to figure you out. The world here in my verse can indicate this person, again, is stuck about something. Um, I think they miss some sort of communication with you with the Queen of Swords here or sharing their deep secrets with you, or sharing um, sharing their feelings with you. I think they could be missing them. Like, it could be some sort of conversation that they may have revealed to you. Some of it, some of their secrets, I think. This is somebody you've also, it could go vice versa. It could be this person, it could be you. You could have been the one sharing your secrets with this person before. It could be both ways or either way, okay? Got the higher font here in my first. So I feel like this is somebody. Hmm, this is somebody. E either this person is a divorcee. Okay, I'm getting into a lot of details here, and it's not gonna apply to all of you. Okay, the higher font is gonna get either this person is a divorcee because the Queen of Swords also is a divorcee or could be a widow. Okay. Um, but that's that's just too too much details. But if not generally Queen of Swords, this is somebody whom you may have told them off or they could have told you off. Like this an energy of I'm not sure if I've been too harsh on this person. If they they could be thinking about if they could have been too harsh on you or if you could have been too harsh on them. Again, it could go vice versa. Okay, let's see more. It 
if this is if this is somebody you have been romantically connected to in the past, the lovers can indicate them um, missing this closeness with you, missing physical intimacy with you. And we've got the two of pentacles here. So this person is kind of indecisive right now uh, in the midst of making a choice. A lot of cards indicates indecision and confusion. One, two, three, four. This could be someone whom confuses you, okay? Or it could be them just really confu like confused right now as in where they stand or where you stand in your life or what they should be doing or what are you what have you been doing you know the seven of cups can indicate someone a, a puzzling energy um they could be kind of puzzled like or trying to put some puzzle a few like puzzles together trying to figure something out right i think they miss uh your the nurturing side of you with the empress uh, missing you, being <clears throat> nurturing towards them, caring towards them, being sweet to them with the lovers here, or being intimate with them. There's this very close energy I'm getting here, this closeness that they could be missing. But then the Queen of Swords can be quite cold. So I feel like, I don't know whether it's you or this person, but there's some coldness here. This could be a facade. You know, either it could be you or this person, but there's a facade. Somebody could be putting on you know, facade as in, as in, as if, as if they don't care as much or as if, you know, they are just, um, if they've been acting really coldly towards you, yeah, that's what I'm getting here, but deep down they do miss you, they miss you like crazy, right, because again, the Queen of Swords seems really, really cold, this person may appear to be cold in front of you, but deep down they could be missing you. They may love you as well. The lovers can indicate this person um, could actually love you. Or you could also love this person or love this person in the past. Who knows? Yeah. Two of Pentacles here again. It feels like this person is still trying to figure something out in regards to you, in regards to their feelings towards you. Or this person could have just been so confusing to you, okay? Um, all that they could be thinking about how you've been confusing them either or uh, like mixed signals. That's definitely what I'm seeing here. We've got the Five of Cups in my first, Ace of Pentacles in my first, and the King of Cups. This person could be a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio. Five of Wands here. Yeah, this person is very conflicted. But Five of Wands, you know, uh, and plus the lovers here also can indicate it, like a banter maybe. They could be missing bantering with you, missing being, again, intimate with you. It's like there's this back and forth energy as well with the Two of Pentacles. Um, I think this person loves you with the King of Cups, has feelings for you. However, however, the King of Cups in the moon here, for me, feels like this person doesn't really want to reveal to you how they feel about you, right? They don't really want to tell you. Um, perhaps they could be confused or they could be feeling conflicted, but they, they miss you caring for them. They miss you nurturing them. They miss being close with you physically um, or in proximity, okay? Five cups in my first. I think this person um, may have been really sad about something, again, that may have happened between the two of you. This is the rejection here, Ace of Pentacles in my first. Maybe they've rejected you or you may have rejected this person at one point in time. Yeah, this is that person missing you like crazy right now. And first time, if I sound like I am not speaking very clearly, it's because I'm quite hungover. I went out last night. <laughs> I went to a Christmas Eve, Eve party. And I think I got home at like 6 a.m. in the morning. So I was, uh, I'm still really, really hungover. I was supposed to go for a Christmas dinner, but I, I said, no, I don't think I can go because I'll be, I'm, I'm so hungover and at the same time I want to work. But anyway, hope everybody is enjoying your celebration. If you have been celebrating, take care of our signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and I hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.